We're here at Westside Tech's machine shop and CNC machine uh, training program with Art Perez, our chief instructor for the program at Westside Technical Institute. So Art is going to explain uh, how the program teaches students how to become certified and trained in uh, computer numerical controllers. Art? Right. Well, our main focus is that any CNC operator is not going to come out as a programmer, but he should be able to edit, be able to stop the machine, change the tooling, and it's important because when you do inspection, that operator should also be able to use certain gauges to do the measuring, utilizing equipment, and precision metal instruments to go ahead and take measurements. In a lot of cases, they will already have testing equipment and gauge blocks for them to do some final checking. The students should also be able to understand the X and Y axes and how all this information is important in setting up the program. So by doing this, they also begin working on a NIMS drawing. This NIMS drawing is for them to go ahead and actually use their skills in CNC programming, which is basically the fundamentals to go ahead and follow the X and Y axes, making coordinates to do the programming and produce a part. This is just one of many parts that NIMS program is involved in and we naturally go ahead and we send these NIMS projects out for inspection and that gives credit for the student in the NIMS certification. Along with that, they also need to go ahead and follow using certain precision instruments, know how to use them, as well as utilizing pin gauges, which we have here. This way they can go ahead and they can determine in certain projects the depth of a certain hole, take measurements, and go ahead and do the subtraction to find out if their depth is correct. Here we have Martin Moreno, who is one of our students right now, who is currently working on a next project. And he's trying to follow up and right now on what we call a simulator. If you notice our control panel is consistent with basically every type of CNC machine. You have thousands of variations, but the basic one is that you have your cursor, you have your commands, your numbers, your overrides, and that's important for them to realize. It's kind of like typing. When you type, you don't want to look at the keys, you want to be able to feel where the keys are. And the same thing is for a CNC programmer. He should be able to go ahead and edit. He should be able to stop the machine, pause it, check the tooling, change the tooling, and do an override on his handle job. If he senses that there's some mistake on a part, he'll immediately be able to contact the supervisor, stop the machine before any drastic loss on material is done. So actually, the only way that they're going to realize operating on any kind of equipment, they have to have a sense of what the equipment is doing. So we do what we call a axis. Using this, it, it identifies your x-axis, your y-axis, and your z-axis all on a positive scale. And anything coming below to actually do the cut is now considered negative on a z-axis. So once they have those fundamentals in their head, then they apply those by putting a, an actual project that we have on simulators. And in the back, if you'll notice, we have where you can put like a USB, a memory chip in there. So the students will operate their programs on a simulator and actually apply them and put them in, put inside this machine. And I, I understand from Mohammed Sadiq, the, the Dean of Manufacturing, that these machines are also connected to the high-speed internet for some of the AutoCAD drawings to be transmitted from anywhere. It could be international, it could be global digital companies that are manufacturing in Germany, Singapore, Shanghai, and they can send the drawings here by the internet yes. to these machines. Is that correct? That's correct. And what's great about that is like if we need a particular print or a layout of some part, we can go through the internet, they can pass it through us, we can input that and put it because it's computer and internet connected with the USB, 
they can go ahead and we can get and develop the actual picture here utilizing their programming functions wherever it may be indiana germany wherever it may be and that's what's great about it so in manufacturing that's going to be good because you don't have to worry about sending blueprints and everything everything's all internet connected and connected with the machines so that's a good plus for manufacturers here here's a Haas simulator it has the capabilities of doing milling programming milling projects and lathe projects on here once a student has all the milling and or lathe projects here they have a USB connector here which will go ahead and we'll take that chip that memory chip and put it on the actual machine if you notice you keep your eyes on the simulator you'll see that this control panels that we have out there are exactly the same first Haas mini mill it only carries 10 tools here but we go into other many more extravagant mini uh, mills and Haas milling machines as well we have the VF2 we have the VF1 all carrying different types of tool holders and different quantities of tool holders and if you'll notice that when we come into the VF2 the control panels are all basically the same again they're the same thing they'll go ahead the student won't feel inferior or get worried about it they'll feel more comfortable because they've already spent time with the simulators and they'll come in here they won't get worried about damaging the machine they'll go ahead and they'll input anything in here and put the computer memory in here and run their programs as well.